it's me again Tell a friend to tell a friend I'd be lying if I say you weren't someone that I'm into, into And don't be standing in front of your friends, you know I'm not into, into that Don't need a hug no, I like this, I don't know if I want to die anymore Is this not what you got? I don't want to die anymore See this one? I think I like this one But you know I want to make my dress, right? They need another Okay, another combination no, no, it's three years, man. Do you don't like this? Yeah, look at what you say you like. Oh, yeah, that one is nice, though. So. Look at this color, color. Yeah, I like this one. I could get this one for her to make my dress so she can use a different color on the top. You know the way the dress is, right? Oh, I need one. That's but mommy, I don't know why you said See, it. Okay, another one. It's not like we wear it every day, so it doesn't matter if it's for Landis or High Target. I'm vlogging in the market. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mommy, why are you calling us that? He's not big out of us. So, look at all our material. Bring it, now. I want to show the vlog. Let me show the world. Okay, you can show them. Actually. Okay, so we just went to the market and we got like prints, like Ankara, to make like our clothes and stuff. You guys always ask me where I get my head wraps and stuff from and I I think I got a footage of like the place where we bought them from but like yeah so we got that yellow one and it's yet like yellow and blue right I hope they can see you yeah and I got that one to make like a dress with yeah I hope it's focused really Blessing, why are you putting your face in the video? Then. Yeah, then we got that red one. I like that red one, actually. Where's the yellow? The yellow and the blue. Wait, you're not focused. It's not. Yeah, we got that yellow and blue as well. And we got one other one, the blue and orange one. Yeah, and we got that one as well. So those are all the prints that we got. We're going to... The tailor to drop them off and like select our styles and stuff like that you know i probably do like a lookbook of like the stuff i make while i'm here like the ankara like stuff that i make while i'm here i probably do like a lookbook or something to, like show you guys the print cycle when will i be able to get like extras for tying my hair i want not from these ones that we got three yards though but like from the one she has with her yeah so I'm gonna get some more extras so I can do more like Ankara inspired like tutorials and stuff. So yeah, basically. Awesome. Hi guys, so today is Sunday and we're going for a party. Like not like a party. My mom's my mom's friend's child's party. Like a big children's party basically, but they invited her, so like we're going with we're going with her as well. And she has a son that's like our friend and so yeah. I'm just going there to chill. Mommy, say hi. Hi. Is that how you're going to just say hi and go away? Hi. <laughs> Junior, do you want to say hi? For me, you want to say hi. Where are you? It's this way. Yeah, my sister is there. So we're, cur so we're currently on our way there. My makeup of the day. I'm just wearing this top and some jeans. I'll try to show you guys later. What is pet to in by sorrow? What is pet to in tossing your shadow? I don't love. I said, Tolo, my pet, I see you shadow. I didn't think you said, Make you marry me. You tell me, say, you know, ready to hold that job. I'm gonna get that from both of me. Joe, I'm my jacket. So we just got here, just got out of the car. Let's go to the party. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so hyped. What do you want to do? Okay. I'm making a vlog.
guys good morning um it's really early today like this is the earliest i've come out of the house in a long time but it's currently let me check what the time is it's currently 9 52 and i'm headed out i'm going to meet up with a friend from high school well not really my friend she was actually my senior in high school it's kind of weird but she owns a makeup studio now here in Benin and she's having like a photo shoot and she asked me to like come be a model or whatever so we're just gonna just do my makeup and stuff it's kind of why are you looking at me <laughs> it's kind of weird because I've never really had anybody do my makeup so I'm kind of excited I don't know but yeah on my way now this is where my mom she stopped to get something so I don't feel too well today like my belly feels weird I feel really sick so I bought some medication I'm just going to take it now just so I don't feel sick like the rest of the day but yeah that's basically all that have happened today <laughs> Say hi to you too. You. <laughs> say hi. Smile. See how you pretty she looks. Would you say hi? Okay. Hi. 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 <laughs> Dropped me like by the word, so I just walked into my house town. My makeup looks really nice, so let me show you guys now that I'm out. I hope I didn't like spoil it on my glasses, but it looks really nice. Tonya did such a good job. I'm gonna leave like her social media info and stuff in case you guys like want to follow her or anything. Yeah, she's really good. She's in Benin, so if you guys live in Benin, then yeah, I got some footage from the um from the shoot, so I also in I'd have inserted those right now. So yeah, I just got home and I'm so tired. I just want to go like sleep. I'm so freaking tired. But I look really pretty and I need to wash my hair too and like blow it out because I'm going to like braid it sometime this week because I'm leaving next week, which is kind of annoying because I literally just came. But yeah, I'll see you guys later hopefully. I, I, I feel like I'm just going inside to go sleep. I don't know if I. I'm gonna be able to like say hi to you guys later but like if I want to you guys today then the next day I go out I'll definitely vlog. It's in corn. It's like a Nigerian roadside like food or whatever like they just sell it along the road basically and they roast it or they boil it and so good. This one isn't like really fresh because normally they're really fresh because they bring them from the farm like in the morning and then they like roast them on the side of the road but like mm, it's corn season and I'm so happy because I love corn. I prefer the roasted one and we eat it with this like local pear. 
it's not like the normal pear that they have in like America or whatever. It's like the small, some tribes call it ube. I've forgotten what we call it in my tribe, but I just really love roasted corn. Like I prefer it to boiled corn, but I like boiled corn too. I've been eating suya like every day since I came home. Like my friends are spoiling me. Before I came, I told them I wanted to eat suya like every day, and they've not even like stopped. They've been buying us suya like literally every day. And I showed you guys suya like the first day I came to Nigeria, but like every other time we've been eating it. I've just been putting it on Snapchat. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, like, what are you doing with your life? Like, really, what are you doing? Like, you should follow me. Oh yeah. Let me just eat my corn in peace. <laughs> a lot of you guys have not been to Nigeria in a while. Like, been so jealous of me in this clip, and I really don't mind. But let me eat my corn in peace. I'm just gonna chill. I need to sleep. I've had the busiest day. I've had the busiest day. Oh my god, I've been out of my house since I left my house like before it was 10 because she told me that she would start by 9. Like, obviously, she would start doing our makeup and stuff like that. And you know, makeup takes a lot of time, and so it took her like a lot of time to do all three faces. And then we, before the photographers came to take the pictures, and before we took all the pictures, got nice shots and everything, it was just a long, long day. I'm really tired. I'm, I need to turn on my air conditioner because I need my room to be cool. But I'm saying now that there's light in Nigeria, they take the light though. Since I came back, they've been giving us light like 12 hours a day. Like if they bring it by 6 a.m., they take it by 12 p.m., then they bring it back by 6 p.m., take it by 12 a.m., and then after some time, they'll switch it, bring it by 12 a.m., take it by 6 a.m., don't give us till 6 p.m., that type of thing. But if they take the light at night, we usually just use um, the generator. Almost every house in Nigeria has like a generator to like power the house. So at night, we use the generator so like we don't sleep like in the dark or in heat or whatever yeah so the generator stays on to like maybe 1 2 a.m some days if we're really reaching we'll leave it on to like 3 a.m that's when there's no light but when there's light they take it by 12 a.m we don't even bother like turn on generator because i mean they assume that everybody's sleeping already not day but like that's the rule like my friend said they just assume that everybody should sleep by 12 a.m so you would have already slept with like the light on so anyways i'm just like rambling because this script is like three minutes long and anybody have like, i don't want these vlogs to be Super duper long. So I'll see you guys next time I go. Bye. Hi guys. Good afternoon. Good morning. Hello. So today we're I'm going to the market actually. So you should not wonder why I have like makeup on. I just want to take like some pictures and stuff. My sister is at the back. For me, say hi. She's going out with her Bye friends. Guys. So we're dropping her. You tomorrow. Bye. I'm, I'm going. Ah. They're dripping her. Cross carefully. I just bought plantain chips. Oh my god, from the road. If you know, you know. I can't even, like, help it enough. Oh, mommy, I really don't know why I'm following you to the market now to go and Zozo. What's that to do? My market gets me. Shall I look up? I'm wearing a young boy right now. Because when you go to the market with my mother, oh my god knows I was going to be in that market for a long time. And you guys are shopping for Barry Alabi. Mm -hmm. My mom lost her uncle, so they're shopping for like the barrel. Barrels are like a big deal in Nigeria. Like they throw parties, kill goats, kill cow, kill everything. And they bother themselves when they can just go silently to the cemetery and just bury the person. But yep, there's traffic. Why is there traffic? Is it the traffic light or? Not the traffic light. Oh, this road, there's a, there's a lot of traffic these days. Let me zoom in and try to show you guys the dashikis. Can you guys see, like, right there? They have, like, a lot of dashikis in that store. I don't think you can see them. Let me drive past, I'll try to show you guys. And this is, like, how they sell, like, stuff, like, boutiques and stuff in Nigeria like along the road and then they bring out like man it's not like along the road it's actually like stores but then the stores bring out like mannequins and stuff okay. yeah the shiki see them they're like all over there so the stores bring out like mannequins and stuff and then they like just to kind of show off what they have at some stores in america do it too but it's always like behind the glass some stores even bring them out actually in new york on jamaica you know there's some stores that bring out their like yeah mm -hmm. Yep, 
We're in traffic. I'm not traffic right now, it's the red light. The road is actually free. Okay, so that's the Obas Palace. You guys see it's in like this weird Where play we? thing. That's the Obas Palace. The Oba of Benin. Yeah. Um, It's like night time now, it's like 7 o'clock. I'm really sorry I couldn't come back and vlog, like it was just a whole lot. I was going to stay in the market with my mom, this is where the light is. So I was going to stay in the market with my mom, but then it was just going to be too stressful. I didn't really know how intense the shopping was going to be because like I said, she lost her uncle and they're shopping for a burial, but I didn't think for some reason, I don't know what's wrong with me, but like, I, didn't, I just didn't think it was going to be that much. I thought we were just going to go to the market, pick up some stuff and leave, but I had a beat face and everything, which was so inappropriate and there was no way I was going to be able to like walk around with them. So I was just like, you know what, let me just go over to my friend's studio. The one who did my um the makeup for the photo shoot like yesterday so i went over there and we just chilled we talked we ate and everything and then my mom picked me up i took a taxi but my mom picked me up from her um studio and then i stayed with my mom a bit like we did some other things i took her out for lunch in case she watches this so she can remember that i actually took her out so i took her out for lunch and i got some more like food for myself so i'm going to show you guys the food that i got that's why i started this footage really it's called Mama Abel Pepper Rice and if you're from Benin, you know Mama Abel Pepper Rice and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So this is what the rice looks like. It's basically leaf rice. I don't know if you guys know, like these leaves are like leaves that we put rice in in Nigeria. We also put like moi moi and stuff. Like the leaf has a very nice, um, f not flavor, it has a very nice like aroma that gets in the rice and it makes it very, 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 very nice. But Mama Abel is like the most popular one in Benin that makes pepper rice and the stew, the red, the stew is really, really spicy. So I guess that's why they call it pepper rice, but it's really, really nice. It's so sweet. So like this is everything. So I just bought this at um, Mama Abel's like place and I took my mom out for lunch at Mama Christmas's place because my mom prefers Mama Christmas pepper rice to Mama Abel pepper rice and I don't know why. And I have a friend who loves Mama Christmas pepper rice too, so I sent her some pictures just to like make her cry or whatever but yeah this is mama abel pepper right and yeah i'm about to basically devour mine so you guys just look at this food now for the last time because i know some of you are going to want to eat it but yeah that's all i just wanted to show you guys the food hi guys so we're out we came to this place to get shawarma for me <laughs> this is how it's done um we went to the movies at first we wanted to see stuff we went to the movies at first, wanted to see a movie, but the movie doesn't start to like 30 minutes. So we came here to get something first. We have to go pick that one up. That's Adi, so I say hi. Hi. That's my sister for me. And then Marvin, the almighty. <laughs> so yeah, we just ordered the shawarma. We're waiting for them to bring it. It's kind of weird vlogging in public. I feel like everybody's just looking at me wondering like, why is this stupid girl? <laughs> Holding her camera, I feel very awkward, but yeah. Always have a shawarma. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Nigerian shawarma tastes really good. Hopefully, does it? Does it even taste nice? Cause I've never come here before. Eddie, does it taste good? Cause I've never come here before. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, apparently, tastes good. So. You don't know, bad man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's body baby, oh. Ah, he's body baby, oh. Yeah, yeah. It's a bad man thing, yeah, yeah. Bad girl make you want to be his nana. Give me 
that thing where I go for you later. Nah, nah. Nah. The way you back it up, the way you boss in that. Hey, what are you doing? Tying his shoelaces. <laughs> oh my god, say hi. So, hi guys, it's your girl. Uh, uh, uh. Why are you oh doing me? that? <laughs> <laughs> It's not going to stop. Why are you taking the stairs? Pull me. They cast me. We just finished the movie. These people are hella annoying. You guys should have come with me. Why did you? <laughs> if it's so cool, stop and start walking now. Really hard. Did you like the movie? Did you like it? It was very cool. I mean, it wasn't like the type of movie you wanted to watch, right? Extra, that was. It wasn't sad. We saw Lost City of Z. It was a good movie. It was just sad. And it was based on like true life events. That's why I like it. Because I like to find out about people like that that you don't really hear about like every day. That's why I like it. I did barely watch I did. Did you like the movie? You barely watched it because you were just drifting. You barely watched it. Look at my hair. My hair is laid though. Like my edges are not moving. I just counted up a quid miller, a QM that's a quarter milli. They don't wanna see J drop six. I've been a red and I bought it this litty again.